So I was uh, living in Toronto and working there. You know, my heart was really here in the West. I'd lived out here previously and I wanted to get back to the West. So we made a decision to leave Toronto and we moved out West. And I joined a, a small company here in uh, Victoria. It turned out that they hadn't really been honest with their balance sheet and they actually couldn't afford my couldn't afford me and they couldn't afford my move. But I joined this little company, I stayed around for a couple months and the investors in that company approached me uh, and asked if I'd take over as CEO and I said, no, this thing can't be fixed. This thing's too broken. But they'd invested in QLT and they had a hundred times return on their money in the QLT. Yeah, so they said like, we like the sector. So they, they like biotech. They uh, offered to finance uh, a program for me and I said I'd write a business plan. And it was uh, Friday. And I said, when would you like that business plan? My big mistake. And they said like Monday. So I wrote the business plan for StressGen on the weekend, handed it on Monday, financed it on Tuesday, and, and launched our, our company then. That was how I started actually here in, in British Columbia. And since then, of course, we've had uh, Arania and Espriva and Essa and, and a few others. It's been a, a lot of fun. And this is an extraordinary community here on, on the West Coast. It, it's a community where our peers actually celebrate our, our successes, and they also support you in, in your failures because in this industry you, you have both. So my, uh, my reaction to, to winning this award was actually mixed. At, at first, I was thinking, oh my God, I'm getting old. This particular award is so meaningful to me. It actually warms my heart that, I, uh, that I'm receiving it. You know, Don was a, was a very dear friend and, and an incredible supporter of work. He actually invested in just about every company I built. Um, and he did so for many people in, the, in this province, so we have a lot to be thankful for for him. And it's important that we remember, uh, because uh, he's been gone for a while. And so taking a few moments and understanding the impact on his community is, is really important. It's important for me as well. So I was, I was asked uh, about mentorship, and there's a few people I'd like to acknowledge in, in, in our community, and a few internationally. People like uh, Bill Hunter, uh, like Julia Levy, like Hector Mackay Dunn, um, and Noel Hall. All of them actually made contributions, both to science, but maybe more importantly, they made contributions that really mattered to patients. And I think uh, that's why I, I, I've learned so much from them. And, and, and for those that really made a difference to me from outside of BC, it's people like George Rathman, uh, who built Amgen. Uh, he was one of the busiest people in the world, but he always made time for me, and it really meant a lot to me, because now when I mentor people, I find the time, I make the time for them. And then there was, uh, you know, Steve Burrell, you know, before he became a convicted felon, uh, which seems to be the rage these days. But he was incredible at networking and actually really introduced me to a number of really key players in the U.S. that helped make uh, my career successful. And I was asked to, to provide some wisdom tonight. And, and maybe the best way to do that is through a, a very short uh, story. Um, I was attending a, a lupus gala in, in, in Washington, D.C. And uh, when this lady walked across the room, uh, hand in hand with a, uh, about an 11-year-old girl, came and said hello and she said, hello, uh, Dr. Glickman, I'd like you to meet my daughter. Then she introduced uh, her daughter said, honey, I'd like you to meet the man uh, that gave your life back to you. And I gotta tell you, that was the most important moment uh, in my career. It's really why we do what we do, and that brought it home more than anything else could.